You know, a lot of folks buy pontoon boats to relax. Well, that's fine. But who says they can't rock and roll? This Harris Grand Mariner 250 SL, it is a rocking machine. With a 300 horse Verado on the back, we can cruise at over 30 and at wide open hit 50. Wow, that handling is something else. Tell me, Mike, what is it about this boat that makes it handle so well? Yeah, on this boat, it has the P3 performance package. With that package, you're getting the center tube dropped one inch lower than the outside tubes. With that, you get the more traditional V-hull type handling of a fiberglass boat. Yeah, it really does feel like that. Now, with 300 horses on the transom, we've been running around today at right around 50 miles an hour. Now, that's running full tilt. Of course, it's a little more reasonable to cruise the boat in the mid-30s, but it's so much fun going that fast. That's a tall order. Too tall for me. Yeah, with this Grand Mariner, you can even equip it with two 300 horsepowers on the back. That'll get you up in the mid 60s. Oh man, why didn't you guys bring me one of them to test? <laughs> Whew, that was fun. And having fun with the whole family is what a pontoon boat is all about. Let's take a look at a few of the features that make it fun for everybody. Accessing stowage compartments is always a problem on a boat. You have to pull the cushion off, figure out what to do with it. Not so here, check this out. One-handed, you can open up a storage area anywhere on this boat. It's thanks to these hinges. Now all those stowage compartments under the seating, that's great, but where do you put the big stuff? Your wakeboards, your water skis, right here. There's a big, deep compartment in the center pontoon. Here's something you really wanna pay attention to. The top is on this gas assist strut, so it comes open and stays open. And even more importantly, look at the bracket it's mounted to. That is some heavy duty stuff. You know what I hate on pontoon boats? Trying to prep a meal on those wiggly pedestal tables. Not a problem here. Check out how solid that is. Make up your sandwiches. There you go, there's lunch. When you're done, click, gone. In here, you got a little trash bin that pops out and a little compartment here with a drain, but there's more to it. This is what you call going the extra mile, folks. Look back here and notice this is insulated, so you can put in some drinks, some ice, it'll stay cold. And on this side of the unit, you got a little pull-out tray. You can hold all kinds of stuff in here. The helm layout is pretty darn slick. You got twin gauges out here for your basics and a touch screen in the center for your more complex functions. Now designing a helm like this does put form before function to some degree. It's kind of tough to clean out some of these areas and keep them nice looking, but fortunately Harris did put a drain in the center, so if you need to, you can spritz it out. As you can see, this boat is set up for serious water sports. Now, when it's time to take the kids skiing or tubing, come up here and check this out. The lounger flips back. Now I can sit down here and watch them on their water skis and wakeboards. Pontoon boats come in all different sizes and flavors, but if you want one that's big, bodacious, and has that rock and roll, the Grand Mariner is one you're going to want to check out.